Hey, this is Brandon with Someday Vans, and we just completed this 170 extended sprinter. Um, it's got a beautiful interior, and we just wanted to show you around. This is the 3500 XD. It's the 170 extended model, high roof. It's essentially the biggest uh, Mercedes van you can buy. We've got a pretty typical layout here right on the front. Got an outdoor table right here um, that you can use while you're camping outside. And a little shoe storage under here as well. Just extra storage in the van. We've got a Fiamma F45S awning on top, as well as a couple spotlights um, that we'll kind of show later that you can use for exterior. Right when you walk in, um, you see the shower. It's got um, great natural stone mosaic tile backsplash on the back wall. Um, we do FRP board on the walls and ceiling to just keep um, keep the weight down on that. We've also got an airhead composting toilet that's mounted in the, in the shower pan. It can also be removed um, or it can stay in there while you're taking a shower. Either way, whatever's more comfortable for a client. We've got a Nautilus shower door that closes and locks. These are really nice, self-cleaning, um, antimicrobial. And on the side of the shower here, we've got a light switch with a dimmer attached to it as well for your light in the shower. Starting here on the passenger side of the van, on the front of this cabinet here, we've got a sliding LED dimmer on the left. And on the right is your normal AC outlet. This dimmer powers these four lights they're in the, in the front area of the van here. Um, and it can be accessed from up here or outside. That's why we like to put these switches near the sliding door so you can, uh, you can turn them on and off when you're inside or outside. On top of the cabinets here, we've got Cambria Quartz countertop, top of the line countertop. This client opted for Cambria and it really turned out great. We're, we're excited on, on how this countertop looks. We've got a nice deep white composite sink here. Um, paired with a black faucet, it's got hot and cold water, as well as the sprayer that pulls out, which is nice when doing dishes. You can also use it to wash things off outside, whether that's gear or, you know, you're at the beach and you want to wash sand off, which is really nice to have a, have something out there. It's got, like I said, it's got hot and cold water. Um, our hot water heater is situated right under the sink here. It's a Bosch four gallon, that's a, an AC water heater, but we do have a switch right here that you can turn it on and off. Um, a lot of times you can just turn it on, a, you know, 30 minutes or so before you want to take a shower or use hot water just to conserve um, electricity. And then you got some storage, a little bit of storage under the sink there for a trash can or anything like that. Um, as you see, the cabinets are all on soft close hinges with magnets to hold them shut or latches depending on what it, what it is while you're driving down the road. Moving back here, we've got three nice sized drawers. These also have the latches on them. Um, gives you a little extra storage for the kitchen right here. And behind that is an isotherm refrigerator. This is a pretty nice size fridge. It's a 30 inch, I believe. Um, so plenty of space for, for storing drinks and, and food. Same backsplash that we had in the shower right here. Um, just gives it a really nice, nice reflection. And since we've got the LED under cabinet light strips, it just gives it a, a great look. On the driver's side of the van here, um, we've got quite a bit of cabinet storage here because there's not a ton of storage in the back, so we wanted to make sure we optimize storage in the front here. Um, we've got two cabinets up top that give plenty of storage. Three cabinets below that that are, um, that are on drawer slides. And uh, we've got these nice brass or gold um, handles on the front, which make which pair really nicely with the green that this client went for. Again, we got three drawers on the left side, all the same pretty much, they're just uh, wider. Same nice Cambria countertop on top. On the backsplash here, we've got an outlet in case client wants to mount a TV, as well as a USB port uh, that's built in. And again, under cabinet LED strip with its own switch over here for this side. 
For upper cabinets, all of our upper cabinets are on these hydraulic cylinders that keep them open, which, which is pretty handy when you go to use them. We've got one on this side, and we've got two on this side. This cabinet on the left is open for storage, and the cabinet on the right is our electrical control panel. Um, we've got pretty much everything located in this panel. Uh, our bed lift, a water pump switch, our awning lights, lights on the outside, a heater on our gray water tank, and our, our dump valve. So you can dump the gray water from in here um, at any time. So you don't actually have to go outside to dump it. We've got our Victron inverter controller. That's for the Multi Plus 3000. We've got our fresh water tank gauge, a gray water tank gauge, and our battery monitor, which again is Victron. And we'll show you the uh, electrical components a little bit later. We've got our Peplink BR1 Wi-Fi router, so the the van has um, has Wi-Fi all the time. And we have a fuse panel in here um, for this side of the van, and then we'll have another fuse panel for the other side of the van. Above me, we have the Nomadic Cooling 12 volt AC unit. This client went with a 12 volt air conditioner so that you can run it semi off grid um, within reason. We've also got a max air fan up front for when you're not running the, the AC. Um, and this is really a nice air conditioning unit. The uh, Nomadic Cooling, um, was they were great to work with. Moving to the back, uh, we've got a pretty big dinette seating area here. You can probably fit six to eight pretty comfortably, um, as well as a, a table that's mounted on a, a lagoon mount table. This uh, dinette does fold out into a bed for a sleeping area, um, but the main bed is up top here. So if you open the control panel, there's a button up here that we showed that's the bed lift. And if you click that down, you can drop down the bed lift. So this is the main bed. Um, it's mounted on a Happy Jack bed lift system. And this is somewhere between a full and a queen size mattress. Uh, it's, it's a queen size length, um, just a couple inches narrower than a queen. You'll see up above it, we've got a skylight. It's got some LED lights on it that you can turn on. It also opens up. It's got a screen and a sunshade um, for when you don't want to let light in. In the back of the van here, we've got four LED puck lights uh, that are actually on the bottom of the bed platform. They're controlled by this switch right here. It's on a dimmer. Um, and then we've also got four USB ports next to it to use in the dinette area or when the bed's down, that's exposed um, and have, has access to charge phones and things like that. On this side, we've got uh, a screened window. You can pull the glass open to just have a screen or you can um, open the entire thing up but it's nice to have that screen since our exhaust fan our max air fan is out front and you can open this up and uh, and get nice air circulation through the full van when you don't want to use your air conditioner uh, one of the nice things about these lagoon tables is that uh, you can take take them apart pretty easily and quickly um, and this table comes right off. I'm going to set it right here for now. Um, but there is storage under this bench seat for that table. And I'll go ahead and take the mount off as well just to kind of show you. You've also got um, some height adjustment here if you want to change the height of that table. Uh, to get under these benches, you can get under them um, just by kind of lifting the cushions up. But I'm going to move them out of the way so that we can fully lift them up to show what's under here. got some magnets on the walls that keep them up. This table right here is uh, where the wheel well is, but it's also used for storage. Um, there should be some extra room in here for storage for things you don't use that often. And this back one is where our fresh water tank is. It's a 46 gallon fresh water tank. We've got our water level sensor there. Um, and we have our fill ports from the outside coming in our uh, 12 volt water pump and an accumulator as well for that water system. 
This side, uh, we've got a lot more of the electrical components for the van. This is uh, fully off-grid. So on the roof, we have three solar panels, 175 watts each. Uh, it's pretty much as much solar as we could fit up there with having the skylight, the air conditioner, and the roof fan, um, and the awning. We wanted to get as much as we could, but that was about as much as we could fit. In this front cabinet, this is more of a storage compartment. Um, we've got some wiring and a couple of um, a couple of switches down here, but it's again kind of the same as the other side where you can store things in there. And then on the front here, this is our main electrical panel. Uh, we've got some fuses here as well as all of our AC breakers. The fuse box up in the electrical control panel is just a secondary panel because we have too many um, fuses to run one. We've also got an AC outlet right next to, to it. The back compartment here is our, really where most of the electrical is housed. Uh, it's pretty much all Victron components. We've got six uh, 100 amp hour lithium batteries. Um, those are 12 volt Victron batteries. We've got a 3000 watt multi plus right here. <clears throat> That's an inverter charger. So um, it converts DC to AC. Also will charge the batteries when you're plugged into shore power. We've got two Orion DC DC chargers. Those are 30 amps each. So when the engine is running, we're, we're pulling 60 amps. Um, or we're charging the batteries at 60 amps. We've got our um, smart solar charger over here. It's a 100-50 from Victron as well. That converts the solar energy to charge the batteries. We've got all of our, our fused switches here as well as cutoff switches. And of course our shunt that sends our Bluetooth uh, signal to the battery charger and also sends the, sends the information up to the electrical control panel. So this is a pretty powerful system. Um, we wanted, the client wanted to be able to run that air conditioner um, at least somewhat off grid. So we, we opted for a really large electrical system. And this was actually done by Boundless Power Systems. Um, they're outside of Columbus. Um, Ian over at Boundless Power Systems did a great job getting everything wired up. He kind of put in all the components and he's also a Victron dealer. So if you're interested in getting Victron components, especially on, especially in, in this area, we're, we're out of um, Dayton, Ohio. Um, Ian's a great resource for that. Uh, in the back of the van here, we've got another little storage compartment here. Um, just for some extra things, since we don't have a whole lot of storage in the back, we wanted to utilize everything we can, as well as um, just a vent grate on this side. Um, all the doors, these two back doors, as well as the side sliding door, have uh, these plastic panels. We custom custom cut their quarter inch panels, and uh, it's nice to have these, these doors be plastic, because when it is raining outside, um, and you open those doors up, you don't have to worry about the wood getting wet and swelling or anything like that. So these are all custom cut plastic um, panels that we like to do. And this is pretty much our build. Shadow helped on it quite a bit. We had to clean some of his hair out before we finished up, but other than that, he makes a pretty good helper. If you're interested in um, having a van built, um, or you know someone that might be wanting to have a van built, um, send us an email, it's hello at someDayVans.com or um, you know, shoot us a message on Instagram or, or Facebook. Uh, we'd love to do more custom builds um, and we do have some openings for fall of 2021 right now. So uh, if you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and we're happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.